Hi everyone, this is Anthony Rees from the HP Helion Cloud team and um, today we're going to do a quick little demonstration of a push button code deployment onto a Cloud Foundry platform uh, using a Git repository. I'm going to use Bitbucket today and we're also going to use Jenkins uh, to be able to push that. So what does our little experiment look like? Well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to simulate checking some code in and we're going to check our code into my Bitbucket code repository. Uh, we're just going to use the trunk, um, so we're going to use bad development practices. But um, like I said before, this is just a little demonstration of you know push button deployment. Um, I've also set up a small Jenkins server as well, and that's polling my Bitbucket repository. So on check in of code, it will trigger a build within Jenkins. And Jenkins will do that build and then we'll do a push onto our Cloud Foundry and our Docker platform. And if everything goes to plan, our application will be deployed um, onto the Cloud Foundry runtime and uh, will be hosted in a Docker container. So let's give it a go and see if we can get it to work. So to begin with, we'll just make a modification to the manifest file. Um, so just make a really simple change and uh, that will then in turn trigger a build within Jenkins. So we'll make that change and we'll commit it and we'll just put in made a change. Not a very great commit message but it should do the job just for the, for the test. And now if we go and check in our Jenkins area, we'll see that we've got a job which is running. So let's go and have a look at the console. And we can see that we've gone and we've done a checkout out of my Git repository. And our Cloud Foundry plugin within Jenkins is now going to start to do a push of my application, which we called Anthony Helion 2. So that'll take a little while um, to start the push. We'll go back into uh, my Cloud Foundry PaaS. And we'll do a quick search to see if we can get the application to start coming up. So you can see from the console output that the app's now beginning to start. So if we go back into Cloud Foundry, we can see the application is just starting to come up now um, it's only it's only just starting to come up let's check the log stream and see what what it's actually up to okay so it hasn't fully come up yet and yeah according to Jenkins it's still it's still completing the push as well so it'll take a little bit longer to come up we should have some more log stream coming up now so it's created the docker container um, yeah, it'll just take a little bit longer now to come up. Okay, so the log stream is now it's telling me that the instance is ready. So let's just go and check the instance and see if it's there. And we can see that the instance is up and it is running. And it's given as a DEA IP ID as well. So which means that it's there and that the push has completed. So just really quickly, how did it all work and how do we get it to, um, to do that push for us? So when we made the change um, here in Bitbucket, um, within my code repository under the settings, I had actually specified a service and that service is pointing to my Jenkins server. And also within Jenkins, I was also able to set up my Jenkins job and the Jenkins job is has two plugins running. It has a Git plugin which allows me to specify the source code management as being Git and the repository as well um, and where to go and get and search for the branch. In this case we're just using master because it was just a really simple example. 
And the other important part, of course, is the post build actions, which I installed the Cloud Foundry plugin for, for that. Uh, I gave it the target, gave it my credentials, uh, told it where to deploy to and what it needed to go off to be able to build the application, which was the manifest YAML file. Uh, by giving it all of that information, Jenkins was able to uh, poll Bitbucket, capture the information on change, and then go to the Helium development platform and do the push and deploy my application. As simple as that. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, if you like it, uh, let me know. And if you need more details, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, have a great time. And I hope you uh, enjoy playing with uh, Git, Jenkins, and uh, Cloud Foundry. All the best.